In this video, we are going to see how to configure the event notification module with PowerSCADA Expert 8.2. So to access the ENM configuration, go to the Windows application, click on ENM, we find ENM configuration, we click on it. Here the system will ask us for a username and the password, those are the Windows credentials. Mine or administrator password is power, and then I'll get the ENM configuration page, which will open. I can also go to a web browser, type http double dot forward slash twice server double dot eighty two, and it will also open for me the configuration page. In here we have different steps that we need to cover. We need to do them one by one. So the first step for us, we need to define the event sources. Where do I want to connect my ENM2 to, to retrieve information, send me my messages. So I'll just type the name of my server. The ENM can retrieve information from our power SCADA, from PME, and from my OPC tags. I'm working with a PSE system, so I'll just check on PSE. Click on Save and Refresh Tags. Next step, we're going to define our filters. So in here, I choose an event source. This is my power SCADA system. Click on add filter, give it a name. Training filter. Click on tags. Choose the tags that I want to link. I'll take communication failure, overcurrent, And I will also take the voltage on balance. Then I click on save changes. So I chose from the total tags. I only chose four. I think it's enough for us in our video. Then I need to go and click on recipients. Who I want to send my notifications to. So I need to create a new recipient. Let's call it. Myself, I mean, click on save changes. You can create multiple recipients. You can send them different messages in a different way. So now, so now I have a new account. Go to my delivery relays, click on the participant name. And here I need to select how I want to send this user the notification, by, either by email, GSM, or SNMP. And for my email, in our case, I will just need to I just need to enter some credentials. So from we have an account that we use for the training to my Schneider account. The SMTP. gmail.com this is my username need to enter my account password enable SSL through subject call it you have an alarm SMTP service port for the Gmail is 25, correct. The message, I'll just keep it blank for the moment. Click on Save Changes. Next step, I need to go to Schedules. And for the participant, which I called Amin, I need to create a schedule. Click on Add Schedule. And from this schedule, so by default, it's from Monday to Sunday, 24 hours. I say no for this account. I want to from Monday to Friday. I want it to be from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I only 
normally work from Monday to Friday, from 6 in the morning to 6 at night. Save changes. Next step, I go to subscriptions. Click on the account name. I click on new subscription. My event source is my PowerScala server. Tag filter. This is a training filter that I have created in the previous steps under the filters tab. My delivery relay is by mail. I can save my changes. Then I will click on test to test my relay. So I don't want to wait until I have an alarm and then realize that I'm not receiving anything. My configuration is wrong, so I click on test. Relay test request was sent to the server. Click on OK. I check my inbox. And here you'll be able to see, I'll just put it front. From my EMBD training request, have a test. This is a test message generated by ENM. The administrator is testing the functionality of this subscription. So now I am sure that my relay is functioning. I go to my services. I need to make sure that all my services are running. The alarm sentry, event gathering, the event notification service, and the event logging service. So if I'm having any problems, they're not running, I can either restart them, start or stop them. For myself, I'll just do a fresh restart for everything, just to make sure that everything is running fine. Then I can click on the maintenance control, my final tab. So here I can choose which tags I want to put in maintenance. So let's assume I force a circuit breaker to close and I want to do some maintenance work on it. I don't want to receive SMS or emails, so I can choose which ones I want to be in maintenance mode. I'm gonna take few for example, and then in case save, click on save. So whenever I have an alarm linked to those tags, I will not receive anything because they are now in maintenance. So once I'm done, I can just close my ENM configurator by clicking on the X on top. Thank you.